Taranaki is a region on the west coast of New Zealand's North Island, about a five-hour drive south of Auckland. It is named after the dramatic volcanic mountain that dominates its skyline and known for its spectacular landscapes. Set against a canvas of endless hiking tracks, pristine surf breaks and world-class skiing, Taranaki is a region where nature and creativity are intimately entwined. Art is everywhere here. It's in the jaw-dropping landscapes. It's in the art trails and festivals peppered throughout the region. It's even in the bridges and on the wind. New Plymouth, Taranaki's main city, has a huge stature in the world of contemporary art, despite its humble size. Start your adventures at the arresting Lynn Lai Centre and the adjoining Govett Brewster Art Gallery. Lynn Lai was a maverick kinetic sculptor and experimental filmmaker whose work is now deeply embedded in the town's identity. Wander to the waterfront and take a look at his famous work, The Wind Wand, a 157-foot kinetic sculpture that changes with the weather. Follow the coastal walkway, a promenade that links the town centre to many of its beautiful parks and black sand beaches such as Fitzroy and East End. Art meets nature again at the Te Rewarewa Bridge. This award-winning bridge spans the Waifaka Eagle River and evokes the power of an enormous wave. No matter where you are in New Plymouth, Mount Taranaki is never far from sight, a constant reminder of how richly this region has been blessed by nature. Make the climb to the top of Paritutu Rock or discover a rich diversity of marine life at the Sugarloaf Islands Marine Reserve. At Pukikura Park, right in the heart of the city, Light itself becomes the artist as it reflects off the lakes. If you're visiting, don't miss the Festival of Lights, which transforms the entire park. In 1956, a natural amphitheatre was converted into the Bowl of Brooklands, which has been one of New Zealand's finest concert venues ever since. It is also home to the world-famous WOMAD Festival, the Brooklyn Zoo, and the picturesque Poets Bridge. This bridge was named not after a local poet, as the name suggests, but after a racehorse whose winnings provided the funds to build it. Conservation and a deep respect for the past is also evident in the many museums throughout New Plymouth, such as Pukiariki. Explore the interactive exhibits and an ever-changing program of events that delve into the region's history. No visit to Taranaki is complete without getting close to the powerful presence that stands at the heart of the entire region. Follow Surf Highway 45 to the Egmont National Park where Mount Taranaki reigns supreme. On the westernmost point of the Taranaki coast stands Cape Egmont Lighthouse, which has been protecting ships from the treacherous Tasman since 1881. Drive north to Lake Mangamohoi, a magnet for those who love hiking and riding. The series of picture-perfect surf breaks along the coast lead to the dramatic rock formations known as the Three Sisters and Elephant Rock. Once there were four sisters, but the sea is slowly reclaiming these natural sculptures one at a time. It is sometimes said that great art picks up where nature ends. 
The longer you spend in Taranaki, with its spectacular scenery, powerful artistic legacy and epic outdoor adventures, the more you realise that the two are so closely linked, it is sometimes impossible to tell the difference. 